Today, we'll follow animated characters as a narrator tells us their story. Have you ever felt like the world wasn't built to include you? This is a story of a father and daughter and how they became empowered to use their voices to enact change. It starts with Valentina and her father playing catch at the park. Ugh, I missed. I'll go get it. Can someone push me? I want to swing now. You know I can't drive my chair in the sand. It's bad for the motor. Once again, Hector was forced to ask his personal attendant to push his daughter. Hector felt the all too familiar frustration that bubbled up each time he was stopped from doing something, just because things weren't made accessible. The sand is ruining our fun. I wish we could make it all disappear. Wishing he could make the sand disappear as well, Hector pulled out his phone and took to social media to share his story. Hello, Internet. I'm sharing a picture of our beautiful playground. I just wish I could be using it with Valentina instead, but I can't, just because of sand. Hashtag not inclusive. Hector was surprised at the amount of attention his post got. He noticed a comment inviting him to come to an advocacy group meeting with a state policymaker. It's so frustrating. The way the park is designed prevents me from pushing my daughter on the swing. So I ask you, Representative Flores, is there anything we can do? Absolutely, Hector. First, we would need to write up a bill that allocates funding for accessible and inclusive parks and playgrounds. We would then present the bill in a small committee meeting. After that, it's on to the House and Senate where they will vote on the bill. Finally, the governor needs to sign it. But do you think anyone will listen? You have to make them listen, Valentina. Your concerns are real, even if the legislators at the Capitol don't see them. So, for the next few weeks, Hector and Valentina worked with Representative Flores to draft the bill. When they were finally finished, they made their way to Austin to testify. Sand, something that seems trivial and small to you, excludes me, hija, and I. Today, I ask you to pass this bill because she deserves to have her papa push her on the swings just as much as you or anyone else. Hello there, Internet. It's Hector again. Yesterday, Valentina and I drove 10 hours all the way to Austin, Texas, just to tell our story. Now we need your help. Call your local representatives and tell them to fund accessible playgrounds. Hashtag access is a civil right. Hashtag inclusion matters. Over the next few weeks, Hector and Valentina told their story to the House of Representatives and the Senate. They rallied their community and together they wrote letters, made phone calls, and held press conferences. The bill was finally passed and the sand at the playground was replaced by rubber that Hector could drive his wheelchair onto. And so you see the power of Hector's testimony and how his involvement in the legislative process helped improve his community, not just for him, but for all community members with disabilities. If you are facing exclusion and inaccessibility, know that you can make change happen, just like Valentina and Hector. Higher, higher. <laughs> The Border Voices on Disability Project seeks to support people with developmental disabilities becoming fully included in their communities and exerting control over their own lives by increasing community capacity to engage in public policy activities. For more information on this project and others, visit pdnchildrens.org. This project is supported by the Texas Council for Developmental Disabilities, TCDD through grant number 2101-TXSCDD00 from the U.S. Administration for Community Living, ACL, Department of Health and Human Services, Washington, D.C., 20201. Grantees receiving government sponsorships are encouraged to express their findings and conclusions. Opinions do not necessarily represent official TCDD or ACL policy. Paso del Norte Children's Development Center, 